the Bogova region in the far north of Iraq. Less than 15 kilometers behind these mountains lies Turkey. Ankara's presence is already being felt everywhere here. Turkish military bases are numerous in the region, and during our report we witnessed the presence of drones in the sky and Turkish military vehicles on the roads. Most refused to talk with us for fear of retribution. The locals themselves described the area as Turkish territory. This Kurdish man agreed. For security reasons, we have chosen not to reveal his identity. Originally from a local village, he fled the conflict years ago due to Turkish bombing. <laughs> According to a recent Kurdish parliamentary inquiry, more than 500 villages have been abandoned in northern Iraq due to the conflict between Turkey and the PKK. Our interviewee only returns to his native region to work. These bombings were filmed the day before our arrival. They targeted the Kurdish rebels of the PKK, who have been fighting with Turkey since 1984. Turkish operations have gone on for 30 years in northern Iraq, but they've rarely combined air and ground operations as they have for three months of this year. More than 10 civilians died in the latest attacks. On August 11, two senior Iraqi Kurdish officers were killed in one of these strikes while they met members of the PKK to ask them to leave their zone of control. Mohammad Rashid Goran on the left and Zuba Ali Bradosti on the right. Adawan is the latter's son. الشهيد جنرال عميد زبير علي بناحق يعني بغدري شيء سأود جنرالا بساري عسكري بعلمي عراق رويشتون تركيا ده طبعا السياسة اللي قال حكومتي إنه اللي قال بغداد كان نقبد دو أفسر عراق. After the attack, Baghdad reacted by cancelling a diplomatic visit by the Turkish Defence Minister, but there's been no response from the Kurdish Democratic Party that leads the Kurdistan regional government. Shahid Zubir, andama ka lahzbi party, wa andama ba teskay party choy tahezakani Iraq wa dawaman le awanish legal hukumat legal Iraq legal ulatani darwa bina sarhat wa awron kinek man bovden. Faced with the ongoing conflict, the Kurds are divided. Iraqi Kurdistan is reliant on trade with its northern neighbor. 80% of the products imported into the region come from Turkey. The KDP has made strong ties with Ankara a priority. For Dindar Zabari, the International Advocacy Officer of the Kurdistan Regional Government, or KRG, good relations with Turkey are a vital guarantee of stability. KRG people is losing in terms of their safety and security and in terms of their displacement. Uh, but at the same time also, uh, KRG always has determined to keep the good relationship with Turkey as a key player, as a partner. The KDP condemns the Turkish bombings in northern Iraq, but holds the PKK primarily responsible for the conflict. PKK should respect the territorial integrity of Kurdistan in Iraq and not to cause more headache and bring more uh, chaos on the border areas or bring an excuse to Turkey to intervene. We went to the northeast of the region, one hour from Mount Kandil, where a PKK spokesman agreed to meet us. Even here, close to a local town, its members feared drone strikes. Our contacts asked us to turn off our cell phones and changed our meeting location several times. So the drones are hovering over the area, 724. So now at this moment, I cannot say that it is fully concentrated over here. So I think it will be relatively safe if we do the interview now, in the shortest time possible. The PKK's members are not from Iraqi Kurdistan, but for them their presence here is legitimate in the name of the common Kurdish cause, which they see as borderless. Kurdish cause is a whole. And uh, let's say anybody thinking, any, any, Kurdish, any, any Kurdish party or let's say Kurdish people uh, know that, let's say Erdogan is the main enemy 
uh, of the Kurds. As the PKK faces increasing attacks, we asked him to comment on the ties between the KDP, headed by the Barzani family, and Turkey. KDP, the Barzanis, are cooperating, are collaborating with Turkey in order to curb a Kurdish movement in Turkey. It's uh, better for the Barzanis, for the KDP, to call on Turkey to solve the Kurdish question peacefully and democratically and not to collaborate with Turkey against uh, the Kurds. Over the past five years, the international NGO Crisis Group has estimated more than 5,000 people have been killed in the conflict between Turkey and the PKK, including nearly 600 in Iraq. And until it is resolved, many more Kurdish civilians are likely to be killed in the crossfire.